Hello and welcome. We're going to start today's tutorial on well, my husband preparing plantains, also known as platanos, and also green bananas, also known as guineos verdes. I hope you enjoy. I'm nice, right, Mom? Mm-hmm. One child looks bang! Bang! Nice, 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 nice. That is nice, man. You know that. Uh-huh. Okay, that's the hubby peeling a platano or plantain. And got to do a few of those. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> and coming up next is me, and I'm doing the yaltia. Yaltia is a root vegetable. It's very delicious. I'm a big fan of the yaltia. I love it. I'll be doing the yaltia and the potatoes. Making sure everything is nicely rinsed off is a must. A must. Now you feed everything into the food processor and let it do what it is. And here we have my husband preparing the chicken. He's going to be cubing it up. Last year we did half pork shoulder pastelas and half chicken. This year we're making them all chicken. I think it's healthier. It still is delicious. <laughs> Every bit is delicious. I miss making pastelas with my family, my parents, my sister. It's always fun to include your family in this. I did it with my children when they were younger and as young adults also. As a Puerto Rican, we learn how to cook very young. <laughs> yeah, we do. I had to have the chair pulled up. I was so short. Not that I'm very tall now, but you know, I was a very young kid when I was learning culinary arts, Puerto Rican style. And most of the techniques, tips and tricks that I've learned, I learned in Puerto Rico with my great grandparents, whom I miss dearly. Yes, indeed. They taught me a lot. And my uncles, my uncles were fishermen and yeah, my most beautiful, most fondest memories are on the island of Puerto Rico. Centered around food, love, family. You just can't go wrong. <laughs> There's just no way. So I hold the memories near and dear to my heart. And I, I pass them along, pass them down. I'm teaching grandchildren. 
Well, my children are teaching them, but I'm helping along, helping them out. <laughs> and be surprised how kids, they take to a kitchen. But you can't be too aggressive with them, you know. You gotta take it easy and make it fun for them. Just make it fun for them. Trust me, they'll, they'll catch on. Always safety in the kitchen. When my kids were very small, I did all the chopping, cutting, slicing, so on and so forth. I taught them how to season stuff. And <laughs> those were their little jobs. Now, they do everything, but yeah, always safety first in the kitchen for the children. That's common sense, right guys? And just make it fun. Make it a fun learning experience for you and the children. I used a can of Hunt's tomato sauce, adobo, some sazon, con culantro y achote, chopped chives, parsley flakes, oregano, and my sofrito. My homemade sofrito already put it away. So yeah, that's what we have so far. That's all I did, see? And you'll see when we assemble the, the pasteles, perfect little cube sizes. Smells like heaven in here. Hmm. There goes la masa, chickpeas, smoked sweet pimentos, achote oil, beautiful color, olives, and the meat. And we are ready to go. Let's start making these pasteles. Before we begin, um, the masa. It's pale and kind of bland. So you want to add some seasoning, some sazon, some of the broth from the stewed chicken, and of course, the achote, which is the annatto seeds, infused in the olive oil. Um, and that's basically for color and flavor. And yeah, you can season it to your taste. Add salt accordingly and, you know, the color that you want. It's all up to you. Possibilities are endless. Lay the achote down on the paper. There you go. What's next? The masa. Yes. The masa looks so good, honey. Yes, it does. The meat. Mmm, those are yummy. We have a lot of those. Garbanzos, garbanzo beans. Never go wrong with those. Oh, can go wrong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Time to see. Voila. Hope you enjoyed that um like somewhat ASMR moment. 
Yeah, my husband's a strong, silent type. He's really tall and strong, yet gentle and kind and sweet. And I'm very blessed. So, yeah, we've been praying every day, every day. Not only since this pandemic started, we've always prayed. But, um, yeah, and we read the Bible every night also. We pray for the sick and the suffering, the homeless, the children, and down to the animals. We, we cover just about everything in our prayers, I believe, yeah. Mm-hmm. The world needs lots of prayers, lots of healing. And if you put your voice in prayer and just pour your heart out to the Lord, He does listen, you know. He really does. Yeah. God will bring us through this. God is always with us. He's always hearing our prayers and He watches over us lovingly and He's there for us. You have to believe that. You cannot lose faith. Always believe and do not lose faith. So, yeah, we are going to be fine. You have to, at least I do. I make it my business to stay positive because I do suffer from depression. So I, I'd be a really hot mess if I um, just started thinking negative all the time. I would. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, keep it positive. And one of the ways I do that is not only keeping busy, but in prayer, in meditation, and just remembering that God is here. God is always here. He's always here for us. Don't forget that. At the times where you feel the most alone, you're really not. I know that's easier said than done, but... I'm a firm believer, and I hope you are too. I'm not trying to push anything on you guys. I've told you that in the past. Just some inspiration, some positivity. Yeah, it goes a long way. It goes a very long way. Faith goes a very long way. There you go. All we gotta do is wait for these to boil. And to be done and yeah and we'll cut into them let you guys see how they turned out and tell you how they taste uh, no doubt they're delicious right baby that's right <laughs> okay see you guys in about an hour they're ready to go i for one i'm so excited and hungry yeah they're ready so am i so are we <laughs> Okay, hubby had to go answer a phone call, so try to do this one-handed. <laughs> okay, just gotta cut the strings off, unravel the paper. You know what? I'm better with my hands. I've been doing this since I was very young. I'm sure it's hot, but... Eh. It was hot when I was a kid, too. Okay. Now what we do is we roll her off onto the plate. Just being a little stubborn. There you go. Oh, that meat. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, heaven. Look at that. Wow. That is beautiful. Look at that. Taste it, honey. Go ahead. Take a taste and... Let us know how it tastes. Hot. That's and, it? No. And <laughs> delicious. 
Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's it. That's how we make our Puerto Rican pasta. That's right, honey? That's correct. So we're going to go grub, and thank you for watching. Do hope you enjoyed. Um, comment, rate, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload more videos. And until next time, God willing, may you all continue to stay blessed, beautiful, and ciao.